Hello everyone, I hope you had a happy and most importantly, safe Thanksgiving this year. In this T-Script tutorial, I will be showing you what parallel execution is and how to use it. So, here is an NPC that is programmed to follow the player. And here is the script for the NPC. So what this means is that if the player's X position is greater than the NPC's X position plus 32, then the enemy will move to the right. If the player's X position is less than the NPC's X position minus 32, then the NPC will move to the left. Now, if you want the NPC to move away from the player instead of towards the player, all you have to do is switch these values that the NPC is facing. Now, in Super Mario Bros. X, a 1x1 one one tile is 32 square pixels. So what the 30 so what the plus 32 and minus 32 mean is that the enemy will switch directions if the player is further than 32 pixels away from the NPC. Of course this value can be changed too, but for this purpose I recommend using 32. Here is what it looks like if the plus 32 and minus 32 are added versus if they aren't added. Now, to connect this NPC to your script, you need to right-click on this NPC, scroll all the way down, and then select your script. Now, parallel execution must be checked in order for this NPC to work properly. And what parallel execution means is that the script will not completely change the behavior of the NPC. In this case, the behavior of the NPC is not going to be completely different. Now, here is what happens if the NPC isn't using parallel execution. As you can see, the NPC doesn't move at all. If you want the NPC to move without parallel execution, you need to type in .xsp equals a negative number if it is moving left or a positive number if it is moving right. The normal speed value for an NPC to move is 1 or negative 1, depending on the direction it is moving. Now, dot .xsp means the speed of the N NPC that moves left or right, and dot .ysp means the speed that the NPC moves up and down. In this case, we're going to use xsp because the NPC is moving either left or right. So, if the NPC moves left, actually I think this is right, so facing equals zero is right, so xsp equals, equals one, and then this line here you would type in xsp dot xsp, you want to remember the dots, those are important, equals negative one. Now the NPC should move, but the NPC has no other physics, so it can just walk on air. Yeah, I don't know how to fix this without parallel execution, although it still maintains the qualities of chasing you. Now let's test out this NPC with parallel execution and with the changes. It completely ignores the X speed and the Y speed set for the NPC. Parallel execution also ignores many commands of scripts that I will talk about in future videos. So there you have it. I hope this helps you with scripting NPCs, and I'll see you all in the next video.